Hello everybody and welcome to another CB Show Tunes tutorial. Now today what we're going to be covering is how to make a game similar to what you'd see as a, a subway runner or something like that. Surfer I think. Yeah that's what it's called. Subway Surfer. And uh, we're going to be making this game inside Unity and of course we'll be putting it on the mobile platform uh, Android specifically. Now, if you haven't seen my other project on how to make an Android game, uh, I would go check that out and see how it works, and uh, then hop over on this project, and then we can get started. Now, during this uh, process, this is actually going to take a little bit of time to actually make, um, but I'm going to try to go step by step through each one of these uh, areas, so then we can get it all done properly. So. The first thing that we're going to be covering inside these, uh, I guess the series of these tutorials, is pretty much just making the scenery and, of course, making the area move. So if I press play, you guys can automatically see that our terrain is moving and it, of course, repeats itself. So we're going to go ahead and check how we did this. So right here we just have two simple walls they're just uh, cubes that you can get inside unity and I simply just scaled these to be the size that I wanted them to be and of course this is just a uh, quad you can use it as a plane if you want but I went with a quad just cuz next you're gonna need textures now this texture right here I actually got off the internet I'm not really sure if it's a copyrighted or not so I can't really sell this game, but just for demonstrational purposes, we're going to use this uh, wall. And of course, this right here I actually made using a uh, blender. I know you guys have seen this before in some of my other tutorials if you have seen those. And to simply make a texture, all you need to do is simply, say for instance, just make a 3D object and color it. So I basically just made a texture through that and it came up like this. So that's how you get all your textures for your object. Of course you just import them into your scene so you now have your textures and whenever you have your textures just make sure that they are selected as a texture type of texture you could go with 2D GUI, but I would say go with texture just because it is more reliable. Then go to the wrap mode and make sure that it says repeat. If it says clamp, then it will, uh, let's just say, not look good when you're running this. You want it to be on repeat, so it will continually do the same stuff over and over again. And lastly, for this tutorial, we're going to cover the script. Now, this script is a common script used for scrolling. It's uh, not one of my own personal scripts, but it gets the job done. So I'm going to head over here to the script page. And as you can see, we have this um, public float speed, which the public float speed simply controls how fast this is going to be moving. Next, we're going to be finding the mesh renderer, which um, if I pull this over and go over to our object, say scrolling ground you're going to be looking at the mesh render right here so basically what we're looking at if I actually pull that down you're looking at this element right here uh, so we basically go to here we're going to get this mesh render here, a render and then select the material which of course is this ground scrolling texture then we're going to make a vector 2 offset and it's going to be equal to this mat which we made dot the main texture offset so we're simply selecting the offset of our uh, mesh so if I actually go over to I believe materials as you could see we have these offsets right here and these offsets allow us to adjust our textures so that's what you're going to be adjusting whenever you're using this right here then you're going to basically take this offset right here and then you're going to select the axis so it's either going to be the x-axis or the y-axis uh, don't ask me why 
it's just how it is with a 2D texture. Well, I guess that's actually really explain. Yeah, that's just a... Okay, yeah. Basically, the X and the Y, since it's a vector 2. And now if it was a vector 3, you'd go with the X, Y, and Z axis. Pretty simple. So then we're going to just add equal, then speed, multiply by time dot delta time. That's just to slow it down. And then we're going to simply update it again by saying mat dot main texture offset is equal to offset. So it just reinitializes the entire thing. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions on uh, anything that's not working inside your game, then uh, simply put it inside the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer it, along with any other questions that you may have. Um, so I guess please like this video, subscribe, and check out some other videos. I'll see you guys next time.